Okay, I'm going to show you how to make some naan. This isn't the one you buy from the shop. This is much better and it tastes better. What you need is one teaspoon of yeast. You need three cups of white bread flour. White bread flour. You need two tablespoons of oil. Could be olive oil, but I use sunflower oil because it's, um, it's good for you. You need four tablespoons of low-fat yogurt. That's it there. Four tablespoons of low-fat yogurt. You need one teaspoon of honey. That's one teaspoon of honey. You need one teaspoon of salt. And you need three quarter of water. Make sure it's warm, not cold. Let's get the um, the measurement there. The cups. Got it? Three foot of water. Okay, and now we shall get all this mixed up. Okay, I'm going to use a large pan, a pot. I like to use a pot because there's more room. You put three cups of white bread flour, three cups of those, three cups is, let me have a look, is, I can get the, um, eight, seven, seven, seven. oh yeah, three cups is eight ounces of flour, that's right, three cups is eight ounces of flour, so, there you go. That's the flour done. Next you put the yeast, which is one, one teaspoon of yeast. Put that in there. And then you add the salt. Oh yes. Then you add the salt. That goes in there. And then you add the oil, which goes in there, like that. That's the oil. And then you add the honey, which is one honey, or you can use some a um, teaspoon of caster sugar. But honey is quite nice, gives a nice flavour. That's it. That's the honey. And then you add the just give that a mix mix. Like that, and then you add the water, put the water in, mix that up, and then the most important part is the low, no fat yogurt. And then you put that in, all of it goes in, like that. Mix that up nicely. Right, that's it, see? Clean. If you do that, take all the flour off your hands. And you can put a tiny little bit of dry flour in there to stop it sticky, but there. See? Clean. That's all right. Okay, now what we'll do, just get a bit of flour in your hand just to stop it sticking. And you make eight small balls like that because this would get it for Dublin size. Just do that. Okay, you make eight of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you make them into that shape. Okay, that shape there. Or it could be round, it doesn't matter with the shape too much. This is Right, you leave that for 20 minutes with a cover of a, a cloth or a cling film over the top of it and that's the Dublin side and then I'll show you the next stage of cooking it. I'll just finish this off. Okay, just to put that on the, on the grill pan and then you take the a bit of flour on, on the side just to coat both sides put it in the board and then you gently with your fingers, not too hard, 
you keep pressing it out to shape. It could be round, it could be a rugby shape, any shape. About half an inch thick. Not too thin or it will be too dry. See, that's okay. That's about half an inch thick. Thereabouts. Not thinner. And then you put it on there. And you have to put it in a very hot oven. And it cooks very, very quickly. Okay, let's get to the oven. To the oven. Okay, just a few minutes. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. That's all ready. That's just how it should be. Right, ready? It's very hot. Oh, there you go. None. Spot on. That's it. All done.